Hello, hey everyone, welcome to Sleepy Radiology Classes. And I promise it will be easy for you. Quick personal radiation monitoring device. So far you have seen uh, and we know about how we have to do radiation protection in a department and why it is very much necessary. So today we are going to see what are the monitoring devices we have. So before going to that, always keep in mind that monitoring devices will just monitor the amount of doses you have received and that will be measured in the value of millisievert. So where we have heard about the sievert, we have heard about the sievert in our radiation unit topic. So and it is going to give us what effective dose or equivalent dose it is going to give us the equivalent dose that is whole body dose as well as the type of radiation so keeping in mind is that monitoring devices will just monitor the doses it will not allow us to save from the harmful doses of radiation so these are some examples of monitoring devices this is flame flame batch and this is the tld monitor which we are using nowadays so so before going to our main topic, we want to know what is radiation monitoring. So monitoring is a, a step which we mainly do in radiation areas to measure the doses of radiation. And how we do is we are using the dosimeters. So we have various types of dosimeters. So dosimeter is the one who is measuring the doses of radiation. How we are going to ensure it? Um, so we are ensuring it. Uh, for both personal purposes also as well as for area purposes also so when we are talking about the personal purposes that is means entire community entire peoples we are thinking on that so there is two terms someone sometime in interviews it is asked what do you mean by personal and personnel personal means self and personnel means everyone and uh, for area means entire area we are going to survey whether there are or how much there are doses of radiation to ensure such kind of safeties, uh, this is not only for the departmental staffs, it is also for the patient as well as for the public's entire society we are going to keep in our consideration. Next is all these things are regulated by Atomic Energy Act 1962 and it is a mandatory part for radiation protection rules 2004. And uh, to be frankly, now we are following the ICRP guideline 2017-113. Next is um, the it was the uh, it was initiated in India in 1975 and Bark was the first to take the initiative for bringing the personal monitoring device that is TLD batch in India for protection purpose. Next is coming to the various types of monitoring devices we are dividing them into two types one is personal monitoring means self and area monitoring entire area. So personal monitoring we have first the flame batch then we had the TLD batch. Next, we we have for instantaneous doses, we are having the pocket dosimeter, which gives you instant dose of radiation. And we have newly, we have the OSLD, optically stimulated luminescence dosimeter. Next is coming to the area monitoring devices. We had ionization chamber. Next, we had the GM counters, scintillation detectors. Recently, we are having on market is MOSFET and gap chrome meters. So talking about the personal monitoring devices, it is mainly designed for personal use, means it will be used for personal, not for area purpose. And it is only limited to one person only. Next thing is you cannot give this device to other persons for use also. If it is for you, means you have to only use this one. You cannot share with other person. Next thing is it is mainly designed to measure the occupational absorbed dose. So whatever doses you are receiving during occupation means when you are working in the department, that is the main purpose of these devices and ensure that this device also ensures that your doses are within the limit. And for this reason, we are having measurement in quarterly methods. It's like three months, four months, six months, like that. Next is it trans also to give you a safe work practice as well as that this area doesn't have much uh, doses of radiation this also keeps in mind and um, in India it is mainly monitored by personal dosimetry and dose record section uh, D uh, RPAD CT and CRS billing of Bark Anushakti Nagar Mumbai so it is mainly its um, controlling center of Vokon hai hamara personal dosimetry and dose record section jo bar ke ek section uh, matlab ek section hai jo in doses ko follow up karte hai regarding radiation safety and uses next is um, 
bark is not the bark is just controlling from behind and bark has aggregated some companies uh, some laboratories to look on the thing and they only do the processing and as well as those calculations so they are like avantech we have for south india we have rentech for north india alratech for eastern and northeastern parts and these are the various laboratories who are given permission uh, to provide personal monitoring services those measurement calculations everything all over the india and they are directly reporting to bark next thing is why we require criteria for ideal devices are um, we have to keep in mind that our devices should give us instantaneous report means jaldi report dena chahiye distinguish between the different types of radiation various types like whether it is alpha beta gamma or x ray so this thing also it should keep in mind next is to detect the energy levels whether it is low energy or high energy level that one also it should have the criteria it should be light twin weight easy and for use and it should not be expensive also and should handle the conditions like heat humidity or pressure and unaffected by non ionizing radiation so as we are also having mri and ultrasound non ionizing zones this thing also you should keep in mind so these are the various categories of personal monitoring devices we are using we are using film batch and this is mainly for x ray beta and gamma radiation and it ranges from 0.1 to 1500 millisievert doses it can measure so ye हाई रेडिएशन भी मेजर नहीं कर पाते और बिलो रेडिएशन भी मेजर नहीं कर पाते बट एक क्राइटेरिया इसका है कि इट इज़ वेरी मच गुड फॉर परमानेंट रिकॉर्ड आल्सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज वी आर हैविंग द टीएलडी बैच व्हिच इज मेनली फॉर एक्स रे बीटा एंड गामा रेडिएशन एंड दिस इज हैविंग फ्रॉम जीरो सो दैट मीन्स इट इज कैपेबल फॉर मेजरिंग द लो डोजेस एज वेल एज द हाई डोजेस बट परमानेंट रिकॉर्ड्स वी कैन डू वंस यू आर हिटिंग द बैच ऑटोमेटिकली द डोजेस गैट्स Uh, removed next thing we have the osld lcd launch machine unless and until you hit it with laser light the doses will be recorded and this is also capable for measuring x ray beta and gamma rays as well as we can measure the low and as well as high radiation also next thing we have the pocket dosimeter and it is giving you the very good it is very much useful for um, getting the instant doses so this thing is mainly used in uh, for measuring the instant doses of any procedure like whatever processes you want to do in bed side also it is very helpful it is used for research works also as well as it is used for calibration purposes in our quality assurance purpose so mainly in quality assurance we are not using the other three devices but we are using only the pocket dosimeter next thing is we are going to move to the flame batch and flame batch is the first uh, personal modding batch launched uh, in the radiation area and radiation field so you can keep in mind now we were Uh, so far knowing that flim was uh, flim was a device to record the image but now you can say flim is also a device which is simultaneously recording the image as well as it is used for radiation monitoring purpose also to jo flim batch tha flim तो फिल्म का मतलब क्या था वो एक डिवाइस था जो इमेज को रिकॉर्ड कर रहे थे हमारे रेडिएशन एरिया में बट अभी आपको क्या और एक फंक्शन मिल गया है कि जो हमारा फिल्म बैच है फिल्म जो है वो दूसरा उसका काम है कि वो एक्सटर्नल डोज मेजर करने में भी हेल्पफुल होते हैं और ये जो फिल्म बैच है इट इज मेनली यूज फॉर इंडिविजुअल पर्पज मेनली टू रिकॉर्ड आवर एक्स रे बीटा एंड गमा रेडिएशन एज वेल एज थर्मल न्यूट्रं ऑल्सो और इस फिल्म बैच का क्राइटेरिया क्या है इट हैज़ अ पैकेट लोडेड विथ फिल्म so this is the film and mainly we are using the iopa film intraoral periapical small films and this is loaded on the plastic cassette holder which is made up of stainless steel so you can see it in the film this is the film and this is the film batch holder and the criteria of this batch is it is having both metallic filters on the both sides so these are the filters and the film is sandwiched between the two filters to record the images side by side this is having a, a clip also to hold mm, Uh, for uh, the patient, uh, for the staffs users, and this film batch is of three types. One may be chest, wrist, as well as head holder. So this film batch uh, is using the, uh, uh, for each measurement. It requires dark room. So this is also one of the disadvantage that it requires dark room, as well as the film when it is exposed to any kind of temperature. अगर ये किसी temperature जैसे कि अपने बहुत दिनों तक film को store करके रखा है तो उसमें क्या आ जाता है fog आ जाता है तो ऐसे ही same हमारी इस film batch का जो recording था उसमें fog आ रहा था ये temperature, humidity, heat, pressure सब कुछ के साथ उसका effect हो रहा था साथ ही साथ ये जो device है उसके लिए dark room भी चाहिए for processing और इसके जो readings होता है हम लोग मेजर करते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ हमारा डोसीमीटर जो जो डेंसिटोमीटर होते हैं उसी से मेजर करते हैं डेंसिटोमीटर का पर्पज़ क्या है टू मेजर द डेंसिटी तो फिल्म बैच में क्या होता है जितना 
आपका रेडिएशन लगेगा उतना फ्लेम ज्यादा ब्लैक हो जाएगा तो द फ्लेम विल बिकम मोर ब्लैक दैट मीन्स द मोर द फ्लेम इज ब्लैक द मोर दैट रेडिएशन डोज यू हैव रिसीव सो हाई आर गोइंग टू मेजर द दिस ब्लैकनेस सो वी नो द डेंसिटी इज अ थिंग टू मेजर द ब्लैकनेस सो सेम थिंग इन फ्लेम बैच वी आर यूजिंग डार्क रूम टेक्निक टू प्रोसेस द फ्लेम और जो रीडिंग होता है उस रीडिंग को मेजरमेंट करने के लिए वी आर यूजिंग द डेंसिटोमीटर मोर द ब्लैकनेस ऑफ द फ्लेम मोर विल बी द डोजेस रिसीव टू द स्टार सो दैट वॉज द मेन थिंग ऑफ फ्लेम बैच and the thing is it can be measured up to uh, 0.2 millisievert of doses and uh, this flame batch has two flames are rolled at a time to aap jab flame batch use karoge to kya karoge aap do uh, flames at a time load karoge one hoga aapka slow flame and the hoga fast flame to jo slow flame hota hai wo mainly mainly measure karta hai high exposure level aur jo uh, first flame hota hai wo measure karta hai aapka low exposure level ka next thing is uh, the thing is this flame batch is having six filters first one is the open window and open window doesn't have any kind of filter next thing is we are using the plastic and plastic is mainly to measure the beta rays next we have cadmium so cadmium mainly to record the uh, thermal neutrons we have thin copper thick copper to re record our uh, gamma radiations and lead to record the x radiations and keeping on mind this the thickness of each filter is 1 mm thick and only the thick copper and thin copper is having the thickness of 0.15 mm thickness so moving on this thing is advantages permanent record you can have but the thing is the flame cannot be stored for long term jo flame hai wo hum zyada tar store nahi kar sakte aur us measurement ko measure karne ke liye humko we need dosimeter so this with all this disadvantages we are moving to a new device and that is my thermal luminosity dosimeter so unless and until you are hitting it with any kind of heat thermal your device will not get missing of data means loss of data will not happen unless and until you are hitting it with any kind of heating devices so that is the uh, thing is that and it can withstand also high uh, pressure chemical and sensitive to light also so that makes it a very good as well as we doesn't require dark room isme dark room ki zarurat bhi nahi hai to with all this disadvantages we have moved to the tld batch to tld ka matlab hai thermo heat luminescence means one emission of light dosimeter so this thing is that when you are going to hit the hit the disc that time only it is going to emit light luminescence and it is going to produce the or it is going to give you the records तो समझ में आया टी एल डी मतलब है थर्मो लुमिनोसन डोसीमीटर तो थर्मो मतलब हीट जब भी आप इस टी एल डी डिस्क को हीट करोगे वो लाइट इमिट करेगा और वो लाइट विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू सिग्नल्स और वही सिग्नल्स हमें बता देगा कि कितना एक इंडिविजुअल ने डोज रिसीव किया है तो मेनली कमिंग टू द टी एल डी बैच इज टी एल डी बैच इज मेनली यूज नाउ इट इज इन इंडिया एंड दैट इज वी आर यूजिंग द सी ए एस ओ फोर कैल्शियम कैल्शियम सल्फेड डिस्क ओनली and uh, this is a uh, very much useful for measuring the doses of x ray beta as well as gamma radiation also so that is why we are saying tld badge is not only used for personal monitoring devices it is also used in our radiation radiotherapy areas to measure amount of doses received to eyes how much dose have penetrated the patient body so that is also helpful for them next thing is um, still now th there is no record that it, due to huge climatic condition any fade of Uh, records so that is very much useful for us also and um, coming to the parts of tld badges tld badge is made up of a plastic so highly impact plastic with a nickel coated discs so are there and it consists of two parts one is a tld card and another one is my so this is the tld card and another one is my tld cassette and this is the tld cassette so coming to the tld card is it is made up of 3 cso4 is to uh, Uh, teflon dipsium teflon disc and dipsium is the activator who activates once it is uh, used for processing jab bhi wo process karte tab jo dipsium hai dysposium sorry dysposium hai wo ek activator ki tarah kaam karte hain aur uska jo thickness hai wo hai 0.8 mm thickness aur uska diameter hai 13.2 mm diameter aur is disc mein mainly three discs hote hain d1 d2 aur d3 and um, and this disc is enclosed in a black color wrapper and the wrapper is mainly to uh, mainly has 
the personal data written so this will be the front side of the wrapper and that another will be the back side of the wrapper mainly it displays the personal number of the um, uh, user and uh, the thickness is 12 mg per centimeter square and it can also measure the depth of 10 mm so at least ye jo tld ka dex hai wo 10 mm depth tak wo measurement kar sakte hain aur mainly iska purpose jo wrapping ka purpose hai ki jab hum handle karte hain tab due to any kind of fluid ya mishandling se wo damage na ho jaye so that is the purpose of having the wrapper so this is the tld card it has three dex d1 d2 and d3 so and this is the um, tld holder and cassette and this is having the clip and the main purpose of the clip is to attach to the um, workers um, area of interest like it may be chest if you are using mainly in diagnostic level like so you can keep the limitation to chest if you are working in nuclear field or any uh, any area where you are making the radio isotopes you have to use additionally wrist uh, hand and head tld batch also because that that's area is also coming in our contact so coming to the tld cassette is the tld cassette has three discs which uh, which are made up of first disc is made up of uh, three filters so first filter is made up of copper plus aluminum and it is mainly for recording the x ray and gamma radiation next is the perpex window it is mainly for recording our beta radiation and finally is the open window which records the all other types of radiation so first is the copper plus aluminum second it will be the perpex or third jo hota that is the open window so each discs are having some ratio and that is um, around 1.5 mm thick and the thing is um, when you are planning for the first window so the copper is placed near to the filter so this is the uh, aluminum filter will be there i'll show you from inside so copper will be placed next to it and next we are going to put the aluminum so copper is receiving the first high amount of energy next the excess low energy is received by the aluminum so first will be the copper next will be the aluminum so the thickness of copper is 0.9 mm and for aluminum is 1 mm and total thickness is 1000 mg per centimeter square next next is um the copper um dix uh, will always uh, be near to the ready uh, the dix area that is the uh, this area and um, the aluminum will be near to the filter area so this is the face this is the area which faces the radiation and this is the dix area so aluminum will be facing this direction and the copper will be facing the sorry and the aluminum will be facing this direction next thing is um, we are having the perpex window and this perpex window is made up of thin plastic fiber which is used to mainly record our beta radiation and its energy uh, its uh, thickness is 180 mg per centimeter square next thing is we have a d3 which is open circular window and it is mainly to record the uh, small amount of other types of radiations next thing is um, we have a clip attached to this area and this clip is mainly to hold for the clothing or to the wrist area and you have to keep in mind that uh, the metallic so this is the entire part of the um, so this is a card holder this is a tld card and this is the batch from front view and what you we have to do is once you want to open is just slide this back side you can remove this and put the card here and again slide up back but you have to make assure that uh, the disc should be properly fitted according to the um, windows like this is the first window this is the second window and this is the third window so this is the metallic window this is the plastic window and this is the open window and d1 should be to the side of metallic window only d2 should be in perpex and d3 should be in open window for maintaining this thing we are having a weak cut symmetry also and this weak cut is always kept to right hand side of you so see this is how they have did is you have to take the uh, dicks you have to slide it down once you have slide it down so you can see this wrapper you have to fold it very nicely and you have to put it accordingly so as i said is uh, there will be one filter so this is the aluminium filter so when you are taking the uh, when you are thinking of the metallic window copper is facing to what copper is facing to our disc 
okay so this is the disc area so this side the copper will be facing and aluminium will be facing to my radiation area so this is the radiation area and this thing is also made up of aluminium okay so you can see here this is the back side this is the front side so this is the disc area where copper will be fixed place uh, facing and this is the uh, radiation facing area where the aluminium will be faced so next thing is we are moving to how the uh, TLD works so we know about something called as valence bond and conduction bond so once the x-ray comes so this is how x-rays are coming and it will strike on the valence bond area from and this area will have all the ground state electrons so this ground state electrons from this valence bond area will jump to the conduction area by creating a free area and this is called as the forbidden zone so this is and this will create an, a whole pair so from valence bond the electrons will jump to the conduction area and will get trapped why because they are getting activated and who was the activator we are using is dy we are using the activator next thing is once you are hitting the filament what happens is once you are hitting the disc what happens is this um, electron from the conduction band will again try to return to its original state releasing some excess energy and that excess energy is what is the information so again i am saying is the electrons what happens is the um they are staying in the ground electrode once x-ray falls on the uh, disc this electrons from the ground state jumps to the conduction area and they get trapped in the conduction area ye conduction area mein trap ho jata hai to ye kya hota hai ki iska agar energy plus 1 hai jab x ray aate to kya hota hai wo energies ko absorb karke wo ban jate hai plus 2 aur plus 2 hoke wo excited states mein chala jata hai aise to excited states se jab dobara aap isko ground state mein lana chahiye to aapko kya karna hai aapko kisi na kisi external cheez se isko heat karna hai it may be a light it may be heat so what we are doing in tld is we are heating it so once we release the heat this electrons what happens is they remove the excess energy and this again comes to the ground state with its original energy and this excess energy is emitted as a तो एक टीएलडी कैसे अपना प्रोसेस रीड आउट करता है तो वो करते हैं बेसिकली विद द हेल्प ऑफ टीएलडी रीडर सो जितने भी डोजेस आप रिसीव करते हो तो वो क्या होता है कि जब भी एक्सरे आपके टीएलडी एल में पड़ता है तो वहाँ पर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जो है वो ग्राउंड स्टेज से क्या हुआ था एक्साइटेड स्टेट पर चला गया है तो आप क्या करेंगे तो हर तीन महीने के बाद इसका रीड आउट प्रोसेसिंग होता है तो तीन महीने हर तीन महीने के बाद इट इज सेंड टू द ए और टू द लेबोरेटरीज तो उस लेबोरेटरी में आपके डिक्स जो है उसको टीयर करते हैं टीयर करने के बाद वहाँ से हर डिक्स को निकालते हैं और एक रीडर um, होता है देखो ये जो रीडर है उसी में डाल देते हैं तो ये जो रीडर है उसी में वो डिक्स वन बाई वन डाल देगा डाल देने के बाद क्या होता है इसी को हीट अप करते हैं और वो हीट अप करने से क्या होता है कि वो um, जो इलेक्ट्रॉन अभी एक्साइटेड स्टेट में था वो ग्राउंड स्टेट में आ गया है और ग्राउंड स्टेट में आने के इस टाइम पर वो क्या करते हैं वो इमे एक लाइट इमिट करते हैं और वही लाइट क्या करते हैं पीएमटी के थ्रू रिसीव होता है और रिसीव होने के बाद वो एम्पलीफायर में चले जाते हैं और एम्पलीफायर से वो जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स से कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं डिजिटल सिग्नल में और फाइनली जो इमेज होता है वो रिप्रेजेंट कैसे होते हैं एज ए ग्लो क्लर्व तो दिस इज हाउ द इमेजेस आर रिप्रेजेंट एंड इट इज रिप्रेजेंट एज ए ग्लो क्लर्व सो यू कैन सी हेयर सो दिस इज हाउ दिस इज अ रीडर दे पुट द डिक्स हेयर दे हिट इट अप एंड with the help of computer technology they can receive the images in the form of glow curve so this is how it is received so this is all about we place the disc it gets heated it tries to emit light and this light is received with photo multiplier tube who converts one light photon into multiple light photons next thing is it is located on the amplifier and amplifier convert into electronic signal and finally it is given to the computer with a uh, computer converts into digital signals and display it to you as a glow curve okay next thing is um, cut off the values of tld batches a radiation worker ke liye maximum dose limit kya hona chahiye 20 millisievert per year but not more than 100 millisievert that is a recommendation by arb for pregnant ladies who are working in the radiation area unke abdomen mein ek special batch lag jayega fetus monitoring ke liye to wo hai 2 millisievert per year during the month of pregnancy per year nahi hoga during the month of pregnancy hoga और दो सौ वर्किंग न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन उनको है वन मिली सीवर्ट पर ईयर जो नॉन रेडिशन वर्कर्स है और प्रेग्नेंट लेडीज है उनको टू मिली सीवर्ट 
पर ईयर और फॉर पार्शियल जो बॉडीज मेजरमेंट कम करते हैं रीडिंग्स लेते हैं फॉर सर्वे एंड रिसर्च पर्पस एक्सट्रीमिटी में मैक्सिमम 500 मिली सीबर्ट होना चाहिए और लेंस में 150 मिली सीबर्ट अगर लेंस में ज़्यादा रेडिएशन लगेगा तो देर इज अ चांसेस ऑफ कैटरेक्ट टू नेक्स्ट इज ओवर डोज का रिपोर्टिंग होता है कि चेस्ट में अगर आपका डोज टीएलडी मेजरमेंट में आपका डोज टेन मिली सीबर्ट के ऊपर आ गया क्वार्टरली तो यू विल बी रिकॉर्डेड एस receiving high exposure dose and then and then arb will send you letter to your department to your rso and individually to you also that you should take precaution as you are receiving more doses to baat ye hai ki agar aapne zyada dose receive kar liya hai matlab ek chest region mein aapko maximum se maximum 10 mili sibert hi milna chahiye 3 months mein agar isse zyada ho jayega to aapke upar turant hi action liya jayega jaise ki iska report jo hai wo aapko एज वेल एज आपके इंस्टीट्यूशन को आपके आर एस ओ को भी भेज दिया जाएगा एज वेल एज आपको तुरंत ही उसी डिपार्टमेंट से हटा दिया जाएगा टू अदर नॉन आयनाइजिंग रेडिएशन एरियाज जैसे कि एम आर आई हो सकता है अल्ट्रासाउंड हो सकता है और वैसे भी साथ ही साथ आपको रेडिएशन जो सीक लीव है फिफ्टीन डेज का विथ पे वो भी आपको कंपल्सरी हो जाएगा बट ये सब चीज़ें दे विल कन्फर्म विथ द यूज ऑफ लाइक यू हैव टू अंडर गो chromosomal test you have to undergo blood test and they will check whether you have intention intentionally exposed the batch or aapne intentionally isko expose kiya hai ya vakya mein aapko laga hai sare cheeze ka judge hoga fir jaake aapko aapko aap applicable hoge radiation sick leave ke liye to dhyan mein rakhna ki aapka dose jo hai wo 10 ml se ward ke upar na jaye within 3 months aur जो रिस्ट एरिया है उसमें 250 फिफ्टी मिली सीबर्ट के ऊपर ना जाए और बेसिकली जो व्यू जो अगर आपके वैल्यूज 0.05 पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मिली सीबर्ट के नीचे होते हैं तो बेसिकली आपके जो रिपोर्ट होते हैं उसमें जीरो बन के आते हैं तो 0.05 के नीचे होगा तो ये नॉर्मल है और बेसिकली 0.09 पॉइंट जीरो नाइन मिली सीबर्ट हो जाता है तो दे गिव ए वार्निंग एंड इट शोज एस वन नेक्स्ट थिंग इज टी एल डी बैच आप कहाँ कहाँ यूज करते वी आर यूजिंग मेनली इन द हेड एरियाज इन चेस्ट areas in abdomen area but when you, and wrist and in the fingers so wrist finger and head is mainly for a uh, nuclear medicine department and those are working in the radioisotope areas and when you are using the tld batch it should be below the lead apron बिकॉज लेड एप वी हैव टू रिकॉर्ड की लेड एप्रन पहनने के बाद आप कितना प्रोटेक्ट कर रहे हो और लेड एप्रन से कित प्रोटेक्ट होने के बाद कितना आपके अंदर डोज आ रहा है तो इसलिए हमेशा जो टी एल डी बैच है वो लेड एप्रन के नीचे पहनना है ऊपर नहीं पहनना है नेक्स्ट थिंग इज जो आज के एक मेन इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट है इस वीडियो का है कि हमने बताया था कि जो पेशेंट जो इंडिविजुअल का रिकॉर्ड होता है वो डिस्प्ले होते हैं इन द फ्रंट साइड तो इस डिस्प्ले का कुछ रीजन्स है जैसे कि देखो ये जो नंबर है जीरो एट फोर सिक्स वन सिक्स छः डिजिट का नंबर है दैट इज द इंस्टीट्यूशन नंबर मतलब हॉस्पिटल नंबर हो सकता है इंस्टीट्यूशन अगर है तो इंस्टीट्यूशन नंबर है तो ये हमेशा हर पर्सन के लिए सेम रहेगा फॉर सेम इंस्टीट्यूट और जो सी सी है सी के बाद जो नंबर लगते हैं जीरो 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 टू दैट इज योर पर्सनल नंबर तो हर इंडिविजुअल का अलग अलग नंबर होगा मानो कि मेरे पास एक हॉस्पिटल है एक्स तो उस एक्स हॉस्पिटल का इंस्टीट्यूशन नंबर है क्या जीरो एट फोर सिक्स वन सिक्स तो दैट इज इस नंबर से मैं समझ जाऊंगी कि ये जो बैच है वो इसी इंस्टीट्यूशन एक्स इंस्टीट्यूशन का है और सी से पता चल जाएगा कि अगर मेरे उस इंस्टीट्यूशन में टेन स्टाफ है तो स्टाफ वन का स्टाफ ए का है वन स्टाफ बी का है टू तो ये जो टू वैल्यू है वो स्टाफ बी का है प्लस प्लस क्या होता है कि आप आपका जो नेम है वो डिस्प्ले रहेगा उसके बाद आपको आपका टाइप ऑफ रेडिएशन रहेगा गामा एक्स रे का रेडिएशन डिटेक्टर है या गामा एक्स रे का है गामा बीटा का है वो डिस्प्ले रहेगा साथ ही साथ टाइम पीरियड रहेगा जैसे कि देख सकते हो आप जुलाई टू सेप्टेम्बर 2017 और कौन सी कंपनी का दिया हुआ है ये भी मेजर ये भी डिस्प्ले रहता है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ यू कैन नो व्हाट द फ्रंट मार्किंग और फ्रंट राइटिंग इन द रैपर मींस टू यू सो दिस इज व्हाट इज ऑल अबाउट द टीएलडी बैच नेक्स्ट थिंग इज आई Well, you have a short uh, note how you can measure your doses. So first thing is now everything. If you want to re institution registration, so you go to Elora page. Go and you institution can registration can do. So with that, an individual can also do Elora registration. Can do after two years completion of the uh, job and having the two years experience certificate in proper radiation field. 
next thing is uh, to so you have to go to ultratech and Reven, rentech or evantech any companies and you can download the from there to apply for tld there will be some charges like 600 plus gst 180 so around 780 charges will be there so it will be one year charges after one year again you have to do re registration but that time you don't need to have to pay for the gst and you need to pay uh, sorry not you don't need to pay for the new batch charge new holder charge only the amount of registration registration you have to pay so ye jo batch hai iska jo registration hai to aap altatech avantech ya jo rentech hai usi se kar sakte ho to firstly aapko kya karna hai ki dekho yahan par yahan par aap you have to place your picture okay next thing is if you are elora user you can mention the elora name next will be the institution number so like uh, 01753 is the institutional number that one for this one you have to confirm with your rso they will be knowing what is the institution number you have your personal number all these things will be filled up by the official purpose next thing is name of the name and address of the present institution so you are going to mention like uh, um, uh, stanley medical college chennai 06182 so that is a address and name next you have to write your full name like s rai so this is my full name next thing is you have to write about the initials like what initials you mention next you have to mention your father's name your date of birth what gender you are and your place of birth and mention the state here next thing is you have to mention your qualification if you have done graduation post graduation and all these things next you have to mention the designation what's your designation so basically for radiographers we select the radiographer designation for physics they will select the medical physicist for radiologist they will select the radiologist so so on so on if you are training you have to mention the training also i have seen as per my survey ki bahut sare institute jo hai wo bachcho ko training uh, training ke type pe TLD batch provide nahi karte hai. so i'll not mention the names but those who are seeing the videos please do keep in mind that trainees are also exposed to radiation please provide them the trainee TLD batch too it is very much mandatory next thing is uh, uh, those who are working in diagnostic level they only will mention the diagnostic area and others can mention the areas whatever you are working so basically the batch we are giving for diagnostic level and nuclear medicine areas and radiotherapy so you can uh, mark accordingly next thing is if you are going to mention uh, what type of employee you are re regular casual or consultancy as per your type next is you are going to mention the type of tld you have to mention the other card number if you are uh, having um, the batch so basically diagnostic radiographers will only mention for chest tld and those who are working in nuclear medicine and radiation area the, uh, they are going to mention all the three chest wrist and as well as the head for head purpose also next thing is if you have worked in any other places before join, having uh, joining to new, new institutes so you have to mention your previous area if you are for, uh, from foreign you have to mention from foreign um, you have to attach your dose certificates also if you have that so dose certificates you will be getting from your rso and it's a right for every radiographers to get the doses do her radiographer unka right hai ki main aapko rso se mangna aapka dose report kya hai it's very much important aur har audhan mein ye bhi rakhna ki har 3 mahine ke baad aap jo aapke dose aapka jo tld batch hai usko change karwa lijiye aur aapka dose record bhi jaan lijiye aur jo aap new joinees hai ya trainees hai kisi bhi radiation institute mein join kar rahe ho to turant hi aap un institution ke jo rso hai ya uh, de department staff hai jo hand look over kar raha hai unko boliye ki turant hi aap logo ke liye TLD batch ka intezam kar le before going to training so that is very much very much important if not please do write to ARB they will take the action on that next thing is uh, um, agar aap india se ho to mention india kaha kaam kiya hai us, us jagay pe agar koi previous batch hai to us batch ka naam likhi institution number likhi hai or ek baat dhyan mein rakhiye ki whenever you are working in any field and you are changing the institutes please do keep in mind what is the institution number and what is your personal number so that when you are going for new batch you can write this thing also next thing is duration of work kab se kab kiya hai aur previous institution ka naam kya hai so this is all the formalities how you have to follow next thing is lastly you can see the declaration area so you have to mention your name 
and your signature and you have to get signed from the RSO and RSO should mention his name and you have uh, to get the sign from RSO as well as from the head of the institution. So this is how you have to fall, fill, fill that TLD form. I think this will be very much helpful for you. Next thing is this is all the uh, additional records we have Avantek in Andhra Pradesh and this is her contact number. This is Avantek from Maharashtra. This is the contact number. This is Altrek for all other states of Northeast and Northern so this is the number and this is another for uh, all defense institutes countries that is from Jodhpur. So this is all about the TLD providers. So that is all about the TLD batch. But before uh, leaving this session, I just want to mention you that whenever you are using TLD batch, do keep in mind that it is only for you and don't, dis uh, don't allow other users to use your batch because then it will cause an hamper to the record. Uh, TLD batch सिर्फ आपको ही नहीं आपके जो administrators हैं darkroom assistants हैं sweepers हैं उनको नहीं देने की जरूरत है सिर्फ आप आपका radiologist और जो भी बंदे addition related work कर रहे हैं उन्हें कोई देना है तो so, उसके बाद TLD का जो batch है uh, उस उसको main purpose radiation dose measure करने का तो आप सिर्फ radiation dose एरिया या रेडिएशन एरियास में ही इसको इस्तेमाल कीजिए उसके बाद जो टीएलडी बैच है उसमें आप देख लीजिए एक बार कि आपका पर्सनल जो नेम है नंबर है टाइप ऑफ रेडिएशन है वो और पीरियड ऑफ यूज लोकेशन जैसे कि चेस्ट या रिस्ट वो सही तरीके से मेंशन करके या है या नहीं है अगर नहीं है तो तुरंत ही भेज दीजिए उसके बाद जो टीएलडी बैच है उसको कभी भी कोई हिट एरिया पे फर्नेसेस के सामने मत रखिए उसके बाद जो TLD batch होते हैं उसी को अगर आपके पास damage filter आया या जो filter है वो torn आया है packet तोड़ के आया है तो तुरंत ही उसको receive मत करके base दीजिए उसके बाद जो TLD batch है वो हर जगह पे मत पहन के घूमिए सिर्फ सिर्फ जब आप radiation room पे होंगे scanner room पे होंगे जैसे कि extra room या city scan room तभी use कीजिए वरना उसको use मत कीजिए जैसे dining hall में या खाने जगह में cafeteria में मत use कीजिए क्योंकि अगर थोड़ा सा भी heat उस जगह में पड़ जाएगा तो वो damage का chances रह जाएगा फिर जो TLD batch है वो हमेशा आपकी locker पे रखे जाए जहाँ वो safe है secure है from heat area से क्योंकि heat जो है वो उसका reading को record को जो reading का record है वो diminish कर सकता है साथ ही साथ आप यूज करें या ना यूज करें अगर आपको ऐसे कोई टीएलडी बैच मिल गया है तो तुरंत ही वो एआरबी को या आपके जो नजदीक वाले लैब्स हैं उन्हीं को बेच दीजिए और आपके जो टीएलडी बैच के कंटैक्ट्स हैं वो आप कर सकते हो फ्रॉम अनुशक्ति नगर मुंबई एस वेल एस जो आगे का दिया हुआ एड्रेस है � वो आप किसी भी इरिडेशन एरिया में रख के मत जाइए नहीं तो आपके जो डोज है वो भी बढ़ जाएगा फिर आपको रेडिएशन से क्लिप भी नहीं मिलेगा सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट आवर टीएलडी बैच एंड आई होप यू विल कीप इट ऑल इन माइंड सो हियर इज अ स्मॉल वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ व्हाट इज इनसाइड द रैपर but it is a very it's an instruction to everyone please don't open this thing and do experiment by yourself ठीक है ये experiment मत करना ये सिर्फ आपको demonstration purpose के लिए है तो देखो आप हमने wrapper को remove किया है blade के साथ और आप देख सकते हो इन इसके अंदर तीन dixes हैं तो ये है d1 उसके बाद d2 और d3 है तो और ये है पूरा जो d1 d2 d3 disc हमारे TLD बैच का तो प्लीज प्लीज आप लोग ये डिपार्टमेंट में मत खोलिए इसको तो जो D1 होते हैं वो इसमें मेनली कॉपर और अल्मोनियम का सैंडविच रहता है फिल्टर का ये D2 जो है वो मेनली फॉर किसका बीटा रेडिएशन मेजरमेंट करने के लिए और फाइनली जो D3 है उसका मेजरमेंट होते हैं फॉर अदर टाइप्स ऑफ रेडिएशन सो ये थे हमारे तीन डिस्क ऑफ TLD और ये है आपका टीएलडी रीडर तो इसमें आप देख सकते हो ये है मेन रीडर जो हमारा रीड आउट प्रोसेस करते हैं टीएलडी का तो अभी मैं आपको दिखाएंगे यहाँ पर देखिए अब हमने डिस्क को डाल दिया है प्लांचर में और इसको लॉक कर दिया उसमें से अब हीट निकालना शुरू हो जाएगा और हमने यहाँ पर रीड बटन प्रेस कर दिया है
और फाइनली हमें ऐसे ग्लो क्लर्व जैसे रिपोर्ट मिल जाएगा सो दैट इज़ अ ग्लो कर्व विच गिव्स यू द रिपोर्ट द डोजेस दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द टी एल डी आई होप यू हैव लाइक इट एंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू माई वन पर्सन हु हैज़ रिक्वेस्ट मी फॉर